will not exhibit films that are ungraded by the MPAA. The film will continue to face this de facto censorship and its post theatrical life, too. Now, so the problem is the MPAA fail, fails to educate parents properly. So we need to destroy the MPAA's monopoly over the rating system by implementing a third party organization run by private businessmen who are unaffiliated with the movie industry, at least directly, and whose primary motivation is educating parents, not turning a profit. And ultimately, this will lead to, re to regaining trust and meaning back into the ratings. And Common Sense Media is an excellent alternative to an excellent alternative rating system. Now, Common Sense Media is a nonprofit organization that provides age-based media reviews and information so that parents can make informed decisions about the media in their kids' lives. We also work to give families a voice, they say, and opportunities to encourage policymakers, media companies, and others to improve the media environment for all their kids. And this comes from Common Sense Media. Now, according to Jim Steyer, the CEO of this organization, context is incredibly important when looking at entertainment products and stories. Common Sense Media ratings provide a deeper dive into the content to allow parents and educators to make more fully informed decisions. Now, going back to the example of Bully I gave a little while ago, since the Weinstein Company refused an MPAA rating, they instead chose a common sense rating of PAUSE 13 plus. Now this basically means that the film is okay for those 13 years and older, but the yellow signifies that the parents should know their child and know that some content may not be right for where their child is at that age. Okay. And common sense media is similar to movie review sites like Plugged In and IMDb that provide excellent detailed info about content of the movie for parents but that is after the movie has been released. Common Sense Media would provide the same kind of detailed information that parents are looking for at the time of the movie's release and would be in the form of a rating. Okay, Dave Banks says that a rating should operate similarly to food's ingredients. It should tell you the elements that make up the movie. There could be a recommended age, indications of the amount of most common mature content, along with an ingredient list of items parents and moviegoers may want to be made aware of. What makes Common Sense Media unique is that it rates according to each specific age, not in the generic categories of the MKA, like P, PG, G, R, you know, that kind of thing. So, in conclusion, our problem is that the MKA has become monopolistic, ethically corrupt, and provides inaccurate ratings. And most of the time, the motivation is money. They're looking for what will make the most money, like we saw the statistic about the PG-13. Obviously, PG-13 makes more money than any other, of the other rates. So if you have a film, like, say, that's produced by Disney, and they want to get the most money, they might just slap a PG-13 rating on there when it really should be an R, or in some cases, a PG should really be PG-13. It just kind of depends. It's relative to the amount of money that they think they can make. So the solution is common sense media, which would be a third-party rating board whose ratings are geared toward specific age, appropriate age instead of the generic categories. So Common Sense Media proves itself to be a rating board superior to the MPAA about educating parents about film content. Common Sense Media has proven that they will keep the children's best interests at heart and at their minds and ratings.